China is developing a new drone that uses ground effect technology to skim the surface of the ocean, allowing it to fly just 18 inches off the water. The unmanned vehicle could be a challenging opponent for potential adversaries, some of whom would find it difficult to detect. The drone first appeared on Chinese corners of the Internet and quickly spread to Russian and Western defense blogs. The drone appears to have a set of forward canards and a pair of upward swept wings. It has an air intake on top instead of the bottom, perhaps to avoid sea spray from being sucked into the engine at very low altitude. It is also painted in blue Chinese Navy camouflage. Most modern cruise missiles are what are called sea skimmers, flying 30 feet or less above the surface of the water in order to avoid detection. The curvature of the Earth means sea skimming shortens the distance that enemy ship radars can detect it, giving the defender less time to shoot it down. The drone can fly this low thanks to the ground effect principle which takes place when very low-flying aircraft experience more lift and less drag due to the presence of the ground underneath. The ground blocks the trailing vortices of the wing and decreases downwash. Further evidence that the drone takes advantage of ground effect is its low wing design, where the wing root is at the bottom of the fuselage, a common feature among ground effect vehicles. The drone has an estimated flying time of 1.5 hours, which at 600 miles an hour would give it a 900 mile range. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 pounds and a maximum payload likely a blast fragmentation warhead of 2,000 pounds. That's the average size of warheads the Soviet Union fielded during the Cold War to take out American aircraft carriers that is if when weren't fielding nuclear warheads. How effective would this be against the U.S. Navy? It's difficult to say, but against carrier battle groups the drone's primary target there are already the ingredients for an effective defense. The Navy's Naval Integrated Fire Control, Counter Air, NIFCCA, extends the sensor range of carrier battle groups by using the radar on board the E-2D Hawkeye aircraft. Flying at 30,000 feet, a Hawkeye can theoretically detect the drone at 215 miles, provided it can pick it out from surface clutter such as wave tops. This increases the defender's reaction time from 59 seconds to more than 20 minutes. The E-2D can also provide targeting data to SM-6 surface-to-air missiles launched to take out the incoming drones. Furthermore, the E-2D will also pick up any Chinese asset providing targeting data to the drones, whether they be ships, manned aircraft, drones, or possibly even submarine masts.